today we are taking it super easy. Get your ukulele ready. We had a challenging song yesterday, so let's do something calm, something silent, something nighty. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, let's start this off. We need C, G, A minor, D minor, and if you like, you can use G7. If you don't want to use it, you can just make all the G7s Gs. And you can use C7. But if you don't like that either, you can just use a C. So a little tip here, a little musician tip. You can turn a 7th chord back into the original just triad. Like you can make a G7 a G or an A7 an A. And you'd be, technically you'd be okay, but it's usually not good to go the other way around. So think about it this way. A square is a rectangle. A rectangle is not a square. So um, the seventh chord would be the rectangle in this case. This song is in a feel of three. So we're going to have one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? And I'm doing down strums just to teach it. But normally I like a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. But please feel free to kind of experiment with strumming patterns and try something new or write some of your own with this song. When the songs are easy, it's the best chance. Let's try and do a quick playthrough of the whole song and then we'll come back and visit any spots that are difficult for us. I'm gonna have the melody play from my laptop and I added like a little intro just to give us time. Choose any strumming pattern that you wish. fast as I was saying the chord changes I was like no I should have slowed it down so let's go to 85 beats per minute okay let's get ready this one will be slower but much more comfortable to practice Okay, now let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, ready? Here we go.
hopefully it is feeling better it's not surprising you as much so now let's try to go back to that original speed we practiced with and I think you'll notice a difference you can do this okay here we go one two three ready go Okay, hopefully that was a lot better. Now let's do the final play along. I won't shout out the chords, so now it's all on you. Here we go. Throughout this tutorial, I've been playing the M6 ukulele by Enya, and throughout the entire challenge, I've been playing my favorite ukes. So if you ever wondered, like, which ones does she like the best, it's the ones in this challenge. I thought it would be fun to kind of do an end of the year review with my favorite instruments. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. It was more of a play along, really, because you know the chords already. You can do this. I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara!